What size TV is that? What are we, what are we talking? 70? 65? Uh, it's got to be 70, right? That's a big 65. fucking TV. Yeah. It's got to be up there. Yeah. All right. Now that's... I might just sit in and watch this one. <laughs> we'll just yeah. sit in. Sit in. We just need your face. Yeah. That's it. You won't be in the shot. I'll sit on your lap. You don't say a fucking word the whole time. I'm not going to say anything. Is there a theme? Or no. Anything? no. Okay, no, great. No. Great. Literally, we fucking, fucking rip, rip and roar. Oh, good. A lot of these pods have homework now. You got to come in with Get two stories no, 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 and no, no. Uh, no. A, a pet peeve. I mean, to be honest, we should be doing a little bit more homework on our end, you know? Well, Coming up with one topic. <laughs> yeah, we literally n- never even have anything re- like ready. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the best yeah. way to do it. It's just like it's a green way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes a topic is good. It just gives you a jumping off. Otherwise, yeah. it's kind of like... Yeah, What's yeah. Going on what, with you? How'd you get started? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't do that shit. Yeah, I hate that shit. Well, I got a bit of a story. I got a crazy. You I, do yeah, have a fucking yeah, story. You want to jump off with that uh, one, yeah, huh? I, I mean, okay. well, I don't know. Yeah, look at me talking shit. <laughs> I forgot you had a big. You and Shane had the biggest weekends of your life, and I was drinking at a bar in fucking Delco. Yeah, like with forty old men. What were you doing racist at that old bar? Men, huh? What were you doing at that bar? I didn't have as many options as you guys, you fuck. Yeah, but you could, you didn't have a place to watch it just by yourself drinking? Well, I, I met my buddy. Oh, oh, My oh, buddy oh. Heifer, yeah. And that's his place? Yeah, it's right around the corner from him. Oh, okay. It's called Manoa Tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Any just more a moldy, questions? shitty My bar? story's right. not going to fucking do right. anything for us. I don't know. Yeah, it's a real, sh- it's a real shit bar. You ran into some racist guy there who was saying all kinds of crazy shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He recognized me for uh, Delco. Uh, proper, nice. And he was like, "I told you that was him, Joanne, fucking." <laughs> and then he's doing pictures, and then he tells the story. He's like, "Yeah, you want stories? I know you're a writer, right? You write." Oh. And I was like, "Yeah." And he went in this whole thing, and I'm looking at the television, watching the game. Like, this will calm down soon. This yeah. will calm down soon. And he was, he was on a bender, dude. This guy was yapping, and he's like, uh. "My uncle, Uncle Moon. You probably heard him. I didn't hear about your fucking uncle, dude. Southwest." And then he started dropping the bomb. Oh, nice. And I was like, Jesus. Well, at least it got more interesting. <laughs> yeah. you know? He knows, dude, delicious. Uncle Moon knew how to shook it up. Yeah. Oh, my God. That shit is exhausting. I, we, we were in Phoenix. Nice guy, though. What? Don't get me wrong. Nice guy. Did I you know. Go? Yeah. Did you go as well? No, I went, to, uh, I went to Kansas City. I went to the Chiefs-Bills game. Oh, nice. I sat in Travis Kelsey's box. Wow, and they they won. Yeah, yeah, it was dude, the best, it game, was best game I've ever seen. My Fucking insane. In, uh, Rochester, they're they're miserable. Oh yeah, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> well, they literally, I mean, they should have won that game, I guess. Yeah. They did literally everything they could to win that game, but yeah, it was it was fucking nuts. We we went to Travis Kelsey's house before the game. We took a bus over with Does the whole it, family. Do they have as much art as we do? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> nah, this nah, is a got, lot of art. He's got a Super Bowl trophy in there. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it was sick. It was fucking amazing. Wait, do they? It, why does he have the Super Bowl trophy? They get one week. Uh, how do they? No, allow I'm that? sure it's a replica or something. Oh, what a dumb question, huh? I don't know. I you know. I don't I, know either. That's why I said. You no, know, it's one thing. I didn't know. Uh, to me, a replica of that trophy though is just as good. It's kind of a boring trophy. Hmm. What? Super Bowl, it's just yeah. It's the, the Lombardi. It's gorgeous. Uh, I mean, it's silver pointy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a football on top. What else is right. boring to you? Statue of Liberty. That's a fucking beautiful Dude, trophy. Compare that trophy to the Stanley Cup. It doesn't even come close. Yeah, because you can drink the NBA, it. the NBA championship. If you funneled out the football, it'd be pretty fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, you got a little out. twist off. Fill it with beer. You put some yeah. whiskey in there. This is a good pod right here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are killing. Yeah, dude, we I'm don't like, know where we're going, Marky. <laughs> we'll in. get to you in a second. Yeah, anyway, please, you guys keep going. This is good stuff. How are you doing? What's yeah, going on with you? Well, we're not on, right? What? Yeah, yeah we're yeah, on. Yeah, Wait, what? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Wait, yeah, I thought we were just talking. No, we no, are just no, talking. No, what about not. Shane? He's yeah, not even no. here yet. Oh, no, we, no, we're not going to leave that part in. Yeah, yeah, we'll cut that out. Yeah. Or no, we might keep that it That was a little in. too personal. But we're not really on. <laughs> we we are, yeah, why yeah. did you tell me? <laughs> this is how we start. You this sit down, you do. fire off. And we well, just kind of choose just walked the start in. point. You, boom. That's it, baby. No, no, like, you know. That's it. We'll cut out. There's no. We'll cut out a lot of that. Yeah, actually, you know what? My trainer actually said this to me. He goes, maybe you guys should just introduce the guests maybe once. I had no idea. I yeah. yeah. I was so this is Mark Shane Norman, guys. In. You know him from fucking everything. Wait, are we really on? Yes. Oh, We're really on. Oh, man. I haven't taken my coat off. You I was ready. Over? Huh? You want to start over? No, it's fine. But shouldn't we wait for the uh, the other guy? No, no he's, he's not. He's, he's not. not on he's he's going to bop in here and there. 
I'm so confused. All right, all right. <laughs> this feels weird. This no, feels Shane like a... just lives here, so every yeah, once yeah. in a while he walks through. Oh, yeah. oh okay. He lingers yeah. like a fucking ghost. Yeah. All right, all right. Shit. Well, now the pressure's on. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. You know, the thing was, is normally we avoid doing the the intro and any kind of intro because we I, f- I feel like it grinds things to a halt. We can't. We're not good at intros. We do bad intros. I Got think it. we could do a good and intro. Then, we just. I think it's corny. I think it's yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we could do a good intro. See, I, but I now we've somehow <laughs> run aground in the same way. We fucked everything up. Yeah, dude. Yeah. By starting naturally. I'm like sorry. Like Foley and Kevin do like the greatest intro to the point where yeah. it's so memorized. Yeah, Kevin was lip syncing yeah. Foley's intro. And I was yeah. like, this is crazy. Yeah. Wow. They've really boosted. Like they've catapulted themselves. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah, yeah, they're flying. Yeah, they're flying. Yeah, they're losers. They're doing great. They're doing great. So are you. You're on the tour? Uh, yeah, I'm on tour every weekend. Uh, finally selling some tickets for the first time in my goddamn life. Selling out. Yeah, some some markets. I was just in Syracuse. I got my ass kicked. But it might be the worst city in America. Uh, yeah, Syracuse, Syracuse sucks. Oh, Syracuse the worst. Sucks. Albany sucks, too. Buffalo's pretty bad Buffalo's as well. Bad. Buffalo is, is I had, utopia I, compared to Syracuse. Yeah, I, had, I had a good time in Buffalo. Buffalo's, I love Buffalo. Yeah, yeah. Buffalo's yeah, a good time. I don't good know. club. I take that back. I've only the, been there in the winter. This is a, a funny bone in the mall. It's two degrees. Like, the city sucks. The people are kooky. And then the club is in a mall. The whole city's in a mall because it's too cold to do anything. So you just have to live in the mall. It sucks. I had five shows. Four were a slugfest. And then the fifth one was great. And then we drove home four hours and got the hell out of there. Oh, fuck. So it's just a heckler montage? Yes. And then it's... Heckler I can deal with because at least they're interacting. They're in the room. You ever have this guy in the front row going... (laughs) Yeah. And you're like, what do you think this is? Like, yeah. the other people are laughing, and he's going to go home to his fat wife and go, ah, I didn't get it. I, yeah, I thought yeah. he sucked. That was a waste of money. I'm like, well, what about them? They're laughing. <laughs> Dude, I, I, that, I experienced that recently in Phoenix. It was the first time in a long time I'd run into, like, a straight-up dumb crowd. <laughs> yeah. You know where it's like, it's not like a typical bomb where you're like, they're not liking this. You right. can literally feel them not following, like, a yes. chain of reasoning. Yes. You know what I mean? Like a, like a, like a, I could just tell that you, you can't, digest what i'm saying right it's a totally different silence yes than the change the subject silence or like you're just not good at this silence you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? it's a totally sometimes you're doing a set you can see them kind of like uh, 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 and then you yeah, ramp yeah. up and the punchline hits yeah. this is no ramp up they're just anything you could say you could say anything and they wouldn't be laughing and you're like what do i need do i need sound effects props like what would do it but what were you hoping to see when yes you tonight? yeah exactly oh it's brutal yeah. So what happened with the Chiefs game? Oh. Oh yeah. Sorry. I I don't know. I like. I, it's first of all. I don't feel like I'm not a very good storyteller. But I also did, like. I went. I got to meet Jason Kelsey, which was fucking You've awesome. Said this guy's I name know. 17 times. A, he was a, he was a big <laughs> figure in <laughs> Philadelphia. Sports. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He won it. a Super Bowl with the Eagles. He gave this speech uh, on my birthday. That was the parade. Was the day of the birthday. He gave this speech about fucking Philly and shoehorn that the in, team. Huh? Oh, it was, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was, yeah, I said birthday, it to dude. I said it to him in person. I was like, that's gay. <laughs> I, I literally, <laughs> dude. I like. What do you? What do you I say? To, uh, what? What do you say? I was just like, man, it's it's really this is so cool because I was sitting next to him on the bus <laughs> and we're just chugging Bud Lights <laughs> together. And uh, you guys got pretty close. Oh, it was. I mean, I, I like. I had one nice interaction, maybe two. I just like. I wanted to. It was, I so didn't deserve to be in that situation sure, sure. <laughs> that I wanted to kind of make it clear that I like, I was just kind of quiet. I was helpful. I was just thanking people the whole time. I just, I didn't. I know what you, you mean. You do more I mean? of that around here. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I save it up for those, those occasions. Those are, yeah, but yeah, we, you shouldn't be in. We sat with Kelsey's family for the whole thing. It was fucking crazy because the game was up and down. And then Travis Kelsey was the tight end on the Chiefs mm-hmm. caught like the, the, Huge catch to set up the game tying field goal, to send it into overtime. Then he catches the game winning touchdown in overtime. So the place was going just wow. fucking. Are you bananas. hugging his parents when these things are happening? No, no, no. The parents were the parents and the uncles were like on one side of the room, and people were like very they're like you just don't fuck with them. You know really? I mean? Oh, he just zoned in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They so just are like, you blowing him at this point, or is that later? <laughs> Dude, I happily would have. Dude, <laughs> we, we, we easily would have. Yeah, he's hot. He's hot. Yeah, Travis yeah. is hot. Oh, Travis is hot. Travis is the really dad's hot. hot. What? The dad hot? No, he's an old man. Mm. So what? Old, old man could be hot. Yeah, my dad's got some fire though. He's not a hot old guy. Nah. I don't know what to tell you. All right, that's fine. Yeah, 
Just, but, I'm just checking the temp. <laughs> the temp of the private yeah, room. Yeah, then they, they, he came in after the game. After the game, we're all hanging out in the suite. We're drinking. First of all, fucking Jason Kelsey was like, Ch- like chugging contest Everyone was challenging To a beer chug- chugging contest Oh fun So the whole game He's just slamming Oh fucking that's great it he's, was amazing He's like a fucking He's like a mascot Dude For he what you is, would want In a player Dude he yeah. is Yeah And he is the most Philadelphia kind of guy Fucking ever Yeah uh, And then uh, Yeah then after the game Well yeah Travis came in Fucking I got to hold the game ball Took a picture Damn. with it Damn then we got on the bus, went back to his house. This is like a make-a-wish. Dude, yeah, dude. it was crazy. <laughs> went back to his house, <laughs> partied sure with them. Patrick Mahomes came over. What? Yes, Patrick Mahomes came over, and I had seen, I'd met Pat in Dallas. Oh, you're Pat. a first-name basis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my good fire. friend Pat. <laughs> I met Pat before. Yeah, I met, I, met, I met him in Dallas, and he <laughs> saw me do stand-up and loved it. I got to chill with him for forever. I got, I just... Dude, because he stayed for the second show, so it was just end the first show. So while Santino was on stage, it was just me and Mahomes drinking beers in the green room. Damn, dude. What? Shooting the shit. Yeah, it was fucking amazing. Now was his brother there yeah. sucking your dick. Yeah. <laughs> is he? What is he, yeah. mixed? Well, I guess, yeah. He's yeah, got to be mixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got to have something. a little half-breed going on. That's why he gets on. a talent. <laughs> I think yeah, so. yeah exactly. Like, and the hair. Yeah, it can't yeah. be. But then when he came over, he was like excited to see me. Oh, he came in. in. He was like, "Yo, dude!" And dude, fucking no. Gave him a, yes, you never it was, fucking dude, told me it this. It was insane. It was insane. I don't. Wow. And then he told me this story about like when he threw. Because uh, I was like, "Dude, what is it like to throw that ball? Yeah, to win the, like an overtime game like that at home. What does it feel like when the ball is leaving your hands? Are you freaking out?" He was like, "He was like, dude, you know what the coolest shit was of the game? Fucking." The the second to last play of the game, right? Travis, they call a play in the huddle, mm. and he was like, "Travis goes to me. He just goes, I'm not running that route." And Pat was like, "What?" <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna go right up the seam." And Pat was like, "Dude, I, I, wait, is Mahomes telling you this right now?" Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm, it's just I him and I so standing. hard. It's just him and I standing there. He's telling what? me the story. So, and he's literally going like, "I'm looking at Travis. Like, what, dude?" <laughs> and then he gets to the line. This is after the game. Yeah, yeah. This is right after why, the game when he gets to Travis's why house. Have you not led with this the first time I <laughs> yeah, saw you? I, yeah, I took yesterday. a Syracuse for eight minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel bad. Unbelievable. No, no, no. Well, dude, I, I was. You walked in, you were like, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, you dropped right? your bag, you put well, your keys on the fucking hook. I was partying all night, and then, <laughs> then I got on a flight home, and then I was doing the first spot at the cellar I've ever done last night. What? Mahomes? <laughs> This is a bit. Dude, dude. This is so it. I was like, yeah. Actually, it's his birthday. I literally, weeks. like, on the, the plane ride home, I was, like, just <clears> nervous <throat> and just, like, I can't even believe what just happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? And wow. what I can't believe I'm doing this. The whole weekend has been just. Dude, Sports Center doesn't get that crazy... post game interview. Dude. From Mahomes. Mahomes? That's I know. true. I know. Good I think point. Kelsey did say those words. Like, I told him, or maybe it was Mahomes. I think they maybe might have did said it. it. Yeah. One of them did say that I wasn't going to run that route. I was going to. Just do my own mm. thing. But Travis just, he's like, he goes, I get to the line. I saw the coverage and I was like, oh shit, Travis is right. So I just yelled over, Travis, do it. And he just fucking ran up the scene. You can what? hear him say that. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, I, he I, was, yeah. Really? I watched, I watched, I watched I the seen, replay. You can yeah. hear him yell over the fucking <laughs> Really, <that> dude? <laughs> well, at the time I hadn't seen do any it. of this. So he's just telling me this for the first time. I was like, oh my fucking dude, God. I don't even know what I would yeah. do. I yeah. Really, there's there's few people that like if I could be in that situation and be totally starstruck and be like he's telling me what transpired in one of the greatest football Dude, games ever. It was crazy. How the fuck am I going to comprehend? It this? It was absolutely crazy. And wow. then I was playing like smack cup with Travis. Jeez, Made smack a few, cup. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. That? It's where Flip you put cup? like all the, no. It's like pretty, all of these cups in the middle, <laughs> and you have a ping pong ball. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, you like hit, get there's two cups going around on the outside. You hit it if you hit it on the first try with a ping pong ball, you can send it anywhere on the table. Mm. If you hit it a, a second time or any time after that, you have to send it to the right. And the, and the goal is to like leapfrog the person next to you. Uh huh. And then they have to drink a cup from the middle. Gotcha. And it just goes on like that. <laughs> but I made a few jokes. Travis like leaned into me laughing. Oh. It was. <laughs> what did his beard smell like? I, I imagine it's like. He smells like a hot dude. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, smells great. Yeah, he's, he's got big. glistening eyes. I'm sitting there smelling like shit. Just disgusting. And what drink, is he? Six drinking two? All... He's got to be bigger than yeah, that. Yeah. He's like six, six, four, three, six, four, three, six, four, wow. six four. He's huge. After, after five eleven, everyone's. Giant. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, here you. Yeah. I'm oh, five, ten and a half, baby. Yeah, yeah, we just make the cut. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't you kill to be six? Give Dude, me oh an even six. Oh my god. 
Six two is the perfect height. Six four is a little. It's a little gangly. Yeah, it's a little yeah, up there. Yeah. You can't sit yeah. on a plane comfortably unless you fill it out, and then that's a perfect fucking size. My best friend's six four. Really? Yeah, and he's, and he's yeah, he's chiseled like a fucking. But guy. he's right though that there's a lot of just like seats and stuff that yeah, suck. you're kind of like bed is a hard thing to find. Yeah, there's so many shitty places I've slept and sat <laughs> <laughs> that if I was any bigger, yes. it would have been a million times like worse. Like what a car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, packing into a car. You know, yeah, yeah. someone's in the front seat all the way back, and it's like my knees are fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm living. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, I like this. Dude, I, yeah. Convincing I, yourself being short's wonderful. No, I appreciate it all the time because a lot of times I'll look at someone in first class and be like, I wish I was in first class. But it's like, as big as they are, I'm in first class. Yeah, yeah. good point. True. I'm already in first True. class. Until I yeah. got to give you a boost to get the <laughs> cheese. <it's. laughs> <laughs> Aside from the lady not liking short guys, it's pretty solid being short. I know. You're compact. You're kind of, you're perfectly uh, proportional. There's no like, goofiness yeah, right, right. with tall guys yeah. sometimes yeah it's like when you f- see penguins like falling off of rocks and they just they can survive somehow. yeah that's what it's like being a little guy <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like like falling down is not a problem right Good tall point. tall and Good skinny point. is very unfortunate it's like fucking they're built like praying mantises i yes. always wonder yeah like crew guys they yeah. fucking drive me nuts they're all long and gangly. They're not really athletic. They're just machines. What, what, always, right. what it, I always what I always freaks me out is the dudes that have just nothing. It literally looks like two sticks. Yeah, SpongeBob. Go into their hips. There's no ass. There's no even real front area. Yeah. It's just, and I just wouldn't. I always wonder what it's like to have well, a body like that. Well, dude, you got like thick buns. Dude, you got cakes. <laughs> I know. So yeah. every I can't ass imagine you it see, any you other way. See, he's a fucking you got centaur, an ass? dude. He's got a <laughs> big, got ass. big ass. I've never yeah. noticed. It's weird. Yeah. I usually notice white men's ass. <laughs> yes. I look at every man's ass and every man's hairline. Yes. Because I want to know where we're all at here. Really? This is How do you feel about great your hair? Hey, my hair's starting now. To... You're okay. You got seven years. Yeah. <laughs> I know every, I know more about hair loss True. than anybody. I've True. studied I, them. I was under a heat lamp. Like, we were on like a deck and it was cold. In, uh, Sleeping? In, yeah, no, in St. Louis. And uh, yeah, and I, I was under the heat lamp and I could feel it get really hot. In the places that are thinning. Oh, and that's something. It's like right on my skin. Yeah, nothing worse than a hot light, too, because I've seen photos of me under hot lights, and it just pierces right to the scalp, <laughs> and it, it cuts through all the bullshit. You got nice lettuce. I'm okay, but I, I can fluff. I got curly hair, which yeah. helps to fluff it. Yeah. But if I was uh, if it's wet, I look like a like a sweaty rabbi. Like, you can see all <laughs> some patches. It's bad. Oh, yeah, that's what happens. If my hair gets, like, a little bit long now, it's just the seams just open yes, up. Yeah, yes, yes. Short is better, ironically, with, yeah. with thinning hair. <laughs> I know. That's why you guys yeah. eventually go with just a shaved head. Yeah. I, know. I know you're around in the corner because i got to clean the drain in the shower. <laughs> oh, no, but that's yeah. a beauty. And Ooh, you're and hanging it, in. It ain't coming yeah. from this cat. Yeah, that is a, know. some salt and They're pepper. not gray. I look, I think it's all brown, dude. You've got a lot of hair, but I feel like you shed like a dog. No. I feel like it's just this coming is, in. It's like shark's is, teeth. That's thick. This is thick. It dude. is thick. You could hold me over a banister. Ooh. But see, you could lose a lot and not notice it because it was so dense. I mean, uh, everybody loses If a I lose bit some in the shower, I notice. My my widow's peak has, has peaked. Nah, yeah. you're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. It's peaked. <laughs> it's been good. fading it's like peaked. one sixteenth of an inch every five years. And that's natural. Yeah. You ever see an older man with like a, like a full fucking hairline? Like a, like a Mexican guy? Yeah. Like yeah. a white guy with a Mexican I'm hairline? I'm so yes. jealous of those Baffling. guys. Baffling. Baffling. Like it's Jason all Bateman. I don't want that shit. Why not? Because it's gross. It looks fake. You want a little no. bit of imperfection. You want a little imperfection. Interesting. It's you know, easier on the eyes. It's easier to, to... No, I like the thick stuff. It looks like there's so many... Hairs. You ever that, seen it? A looks po- like it's like hair in HD. Or it's something. like a pool table. Just <laughs> a thick. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. He, uh, yes. My buddy's dad has it, and it's like fucking. Really? It's like literally he hasn't lost a hair his whole life, <laughs> and I can't. That? I can't stop looking at. it. And why can't we replicate that? Right. You know, know, we got dick pills now. Yeah. Why can't we get the hair stuff going? I know. Maybe they don't want it. They don't want us to have. It. Like they don't mm. want us to be cancer because you got to thin the herd. Yeah. They want to keep uh, our morale down. They want to keep you in the gutter about your sense of But that's one of worth. those things, because I feel like you always hear women be like, if this was a man's problem, they'd have solved this already. You know, that's, Ooh, there's always something. Like, that's there's, interesting. And it's like, dude, Who said this, your ex? Every, no, they always no, say that about abortion. Yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah, men yeah. got abortion, yeah, you get one on ATM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's like a big lady But it's complaint. like, we can't fix our hair. If our dick stops working, the pill's fine, but... 
They gotta. You can't make our dicks bigger. <laughs> yeah, you can't. We can't. Why get can't taller. we make a dick bigger? You can Chris, make a dick You're reading bigger. your diary right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, but isn't it ridiculous? You got a great point here. This is big. Yeah. This I is mean, a bit. that's a big man's problem. It's like how come? How come we can't make dicks fucking thirty inches long yeah. and rock hard? Because you'd be killing women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'd be a fucking pecker record yeah <laughs> right and you get stopped at the airport yeah. too slaughtering chicks yeah that is kind of one of those things though that i don't want to change i i i, yeah, I don't nice like the, yeah I, well it's good enough that i feel like i'm um i'm above average yeah you know it's it, like having a six-pack right feel, you feel good yes. but you're not too hammered right right it's like uh well you know what's weird i'm i don't have a huge dong at all i'm like classic like i'm like a stock dick you yeah, know, yeah. like it's like I got the AM, FM. I got everything you need, but it's, there's nothing souped up or anything. It's like a stock dick, but... <laughs> Over 80 miles an hour in shape. Yeah, 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 exactly. It gets the job done, but it's not uh, it's not impressive or anything. But I've had girls I could tell in bed were like, eh, I wish there was more. But I've also had girls who were like, yeah, easy, easy. Uh, and I'm like, well, what the fuck's going on here? Like, yeah. what do you do with a big guy? Oh, dude. Well, some girls' living rooms are That's... a little smaller than the others. Is that yeah. what it is? It's oh, a yeah. shallow yeah. clam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I've, I've... Also, what I've been told is like the girth thing is like a, it's, it's. That's everything. That's yeah. everything. Yeah. And yeah. I got none of that. Uh, <laughs> I got yeah. some decent girth. Yeah. Really? I'm doing a, just do, like again. You guys, I'm doing fine. Look, to wrap this all back. Nobody's like, gonna look at it. Five like, eight. Whoa. Five eight to five eleven. That's a perfect bird size. You know what I mean? Like an average bird. Right. Mm. Like it's like the average height. Everybody's fine. Everybody's having a good time. Yeah. You know okay. I mean? That helps. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm five Mark, ten. Look at me. You're doing great. All right. You're All right. <laughs> but you, gotta, you, you got a nice still, hog. You stew on it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as you do. Yeah. Because yeah, you. Yeah, sorry. The supermodel looks in the mirror and she's like, "Ah, these love handles." Oh, right. you know, and you're like, "Shut up!" And yeah. we should. I should do that to myself every now. And then. I know. Yeah, of course. But it's, I, it's mostly when you're fucking and you can see the dick not really doing it. Ah. That when you're like, that's when you're like, you start getting in your head. You're like, what? A, yeah, dude, it's you don't want to be a giant. You don't want to be a midget. You don't want to yeah. have a giant penis. No. You don't want to have a micro mm-hmm. penis. Yes. That's it. Anything in the middle is fine. It's and, true. Make it work. Okay. I hope you're right. You're make pointing. It work. That's a great outlook on life. Five to eight. Yeah, it's like a skeleton key. It works. Yeah. <laughs> it works no matter what. Work. Yeah, mine's the same width as a skeleton key. <laughs> but yeah, I hear you. What's <laughs> my dick's nickname? <laughs> <laughs> Last thing I'll say about hair loss. Steve Martin wears a piece. This is why Steve Martin's brilliant. His piece is thinning. Really? Genius. Because you'll never question a piece that's thinning because it's thinning. True. So he puts it on in different stages? He has different stages? No, no, no. It's no. just a hair, what do you call it, toupee, but it goes back yeah. a little. Yeah, yeah. So it, you're like, oh, he's losing his hair, but he has hair. He's, what, 73 years old, whatever yeah. the fuck he is. So you'll never question it and go, is that a piece? Because it's thinning. Right. So why would you question it? Because it it's too realistic. Well, yeah. Who on earth would get a thinning hairpiece? That'd but be that's, crazy. That's the genius. Yeah, it is. You're hiding hiding in plain sight. That's how you learn how to play the ukulele. <laughs> What's he play? He plays a banjo. Yeah. Banjo. Get out of here. And Some he other fucking pretenders. get out of here with the banjo. Dude. He does rip. He does. He's very he talented. Rips on the banjo. I saw him live once. Dude, actually. if you're not, if yeah, you're, he was at like a folk festival that I went to. Did you play a shove cup or whatever with him? <laughs> <laughs> whatever you see how cup? detail he got with that yeah. fucking yeah. game? He well, you asked me about the details. Like, so there's four cups, and they go I'm like, who gives? <laughs> well, shit? it's hard to explain. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's just like Jesus Christ, dude. If you hear a hard banjo, regardless of the talent, and you're not thinking of extreme racism you're way off base interesting it's a terrible instrument it's a dog <laughs> shit tune no it's, and it, it i don't it, know man it rep it's pretty great it replicates a time in our life when our, our humanity <laughs> where we weren't treating others correctly in my head that's one it's like going to south carolina and seeing sure. these trees and the fucking and the spikes oh. on top of uh, fences and they're like well this is a you know this is a uh, what do you call it? A relic of the past. Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. Take those wanna, fucking you, down. Nah, Not the truth. If you want to be, if you want to be, you know. Jesus Christ, that's very. There's good stuff in meant. there too. The banjos also. There's those. Those are poor people struggling. True. Coming up with some music, trying to find some happiness in a miserable yeah. wasteland. Yeah, they're miners right. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that know? where your head goes though? Doesn't it take you I, down? I, 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 dude, I die for the people. <laughs> <laughs> Civil War yeah, soldier yeah, yeah. all of a sudden. I die. I get high off the people. 
Yeah, no, I, I like the workers, man. Well, that's the thing about the banjo. It's if if you're a poor redneck on a porch, you're like, look at this fucking uh, yeah. piece of shit. Yeah, it's like deliverance. But if Steve Martin's playing it, you're like, it makes it cooler that it's a redneck thing. It's kind of like Woody Allen it plays the clarinet. Everybody yeah. goes to see him live, or they used to. Another yeah. dork got jammed into a locker. Yeah. What? <laughs> But, I like Woody. But, but you Woody see a dork do play like it. Woody. I love Woody. I do too. But you're seeing Woody play it, and you're like, it's cool now. You took yeah. a shitty kind of no no one likes this instrument thing, and made, now that you're playing it, now it's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like McCusker with the uh, Indian flute. Where the fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? McCusker's playing the wood flute. McCusker's yeah. got Oh, wow. That fucking... Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's yeah, fun. He's practicing. What's it called? I have no idea. I, I, I would call it a didgeridoo, but something. It's <laughs> like a number, or uh, who cares? There's yeah, also yeah. the the Jew harp. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. a fun one. <laughs> that now that will send me. Yeah, you get Clooney on that though. Yeah. Now it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but if you see some fucking hillbilly True. doing it, that motherfucker made tequila interesting, dude. Yeah, gave each friend a million. Yeah, how about that? That's crazy. I know it's crazy. It's an embarrassment of riches. Yeah, it is gross. Yeah, I wish I yeah. I guess if you get a billion, for he got a billion for it, you give ten friends a million. That's nothing. Yeah, not a drop not. in the tequila bucket. It's just crazy it's to have that big of a career already. Yes. I mean, it's insane. I mean, it's you like it's almost rude to then make another billion in an industry that you probably know nothing about. Right. You know. Yeah. Well, they just took their money and they apparently he just was like, "I'm going to get my liquor guy to find the greatest agave." Spend there's no there's no monetary limits here. Yeah, just go find the best agave, find the best distillation process, and we're gonna make the highest quality tequila we can because there's an and you know an endless source of income. I know, mm. but it, it also Good can't point. be that easy, can it? No, it took years for them to to find it. Really, to to get to where where they want it. Listen to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I you know. don't know anything do you know about this. this. You this have is what no I said. Idea. I You're said just this. Assuming. I said yeah, this yeah. the other day. If I get one fact in me. I'm going to fucking <laughs> trudge along and I'm going to build a lie and bring you on with me. Yeah. But yeah, I think it did take years. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> sure. honest. well, to build up enough value to then sell it for fucking. Well, the value in the name. Yeah. 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 You get two, yeah. Two hot boys, you know, just yeah. sipping a fucking liquor. Like I want that. I think I want that liquor. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. Uh, aviation gin. It's yeah. Ryan Reynolds. You're yeah, already, yeah. you're, already uh, you're halfway home with yes, Reynolds. Dude. True. Take my pants off and get me. Although I don't home. think is aviation doing that well. I, haven't I think seen it's it doing anymore. all right for gin. Yeah. I don't know. Does yeah. anyone like gin? I, I do I like don't. gin. I've, been, really? I've come around on gin. A gin and tonic. Just what are had, we talking? No, no, no. I've had this conversation. Bach, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I just hate gin because I drank. It was like the first time I got like completely blacked out was on gin. Oh, the first time I drank with Brett Favre. We no, had no, 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 no. Who, Brett? This yeah. is just this is just my friends <laughs> in high school. And uh, and we went we went to go smash mailboxes. Yep. And I, I had a met, I had a metal baseball bat. <laughs> and I hit this first mailbox and it must have been made out of fucking iron. Because it, it, <laughs> it, it, it didn't or go you were just blacked out. And not weak. only did it not go anywhere, but it was ringing throughout the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, but I was so right. hammered and, and and my ego was hurting, so I kept hitting the dude. <laughs> <laughs> then, Wait, you're out of the did. car? This isn't what? like a drive-by? No, no, no. We were just walking ah, around. <laughs> walking away <laughs> by. That's hilarious. Walking. Yeah, we were you just You guys were all walking around. with Louisville? Yeah, yeah. No, they, we had fucking t the titanium bat. We had like aluminum bats. Yeah, Louisville. They make aluminum? I thought that yeah, was just yeah, the wood yeah, ones. Man, but do. anyway... They've so been then, branching out. So, then, so after after I'm after like after I hit this three or four times, my friends have ditched. They are like oh, gone. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Did it hurt that that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh sting, my god, sting it was of devastating. The bat. So then eventually, I like, I'm like, I gotta scram. I run. We all like, I run back to what I think is his house, and they said they just saw me. Like <laughs> they saw me in the house over, just banging on their back door. Yeah, Wait, across the it. street. Yeah, yeah. No, this was like out their back window. They saw me at another house yeah. banging on the uh, door to be let in with a bat, and then they had to like open the door and shout to me like. <laughs> Uh, wait, are you holding a bat while you're banging? No, I threw the bat. Uh, <clears throat> into like ivy or something. Yeah. Damn. That was good. Vandalizing was fun. Yeah. It's part of growing up. Running from cops. Yeah. yeah dude. In the suburbs that. is fun. Nothing yeah. like it. There's nothing like beating a cop. <laughs> I know. I know. I told this story before. I don't know if I told it on this pod, but I, I beat a cop in oh, my car when oh, I first yeah, started yeah, comedy. Yeah. You yeah. I ran him. Yeah. Okay. You Not say ran. Beat no, a no, cop. no. In a car. Oh, what? So when I... When I first started comedy, it was 
think it was like 2009 or something, 2010. Yeah. And um, I still have a job. I still had a car. <laughs> I still had a career. This is Christmas. Nah. I still this was is happy. Christmas 2009, yeah, yeah, yeah. too. Yeah, this is my Mahomes story, by the way. <laughs> Everything was figured the fuck out. Yeah. So I'm driving just hammered. And I, I pass this exit. I come on the uh, the overpass, and you see the car lights go on. Oh. And my exit, luckily, had like a bend to it. And I had an Infinity, a brand new car, G35X. It was a fucking burner, dude. This this pig had wheels. Oh yeah, the <laughs> so white I, trash Porsche. I, yeah. yeah, and the the good when you get off this exit, you can it splits both ways. It goes uh, you can go t- uh, up this one pike or that pike after going through the easy pass. Mm-hmm. So I fucking burn it. I see him coming this way as I split, but he can't. It's a blind split. He doesn't know which way I went. Oh my god! So I go right towards the the apartment I had in Horsham, and I jump the median. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Went behind a uh, a Seven Eleven, ditched my car next to a dumpster by a, a, a <laughs> apartment complex. It was like three a.m. You're I, Batman. I call my ex girlfriend. <laughs> she has a full time job. Yeah, <laughs> and she's like, "Where are you?" I was like, "Can you come get me at the Seven Eleven?" And you just saw the cop like perusing all the fucking oh, streets. Oh, and you're man. on foot. He doesn't know it's you. Yeah, I can't. You can't lock me in now. I'm out. Really? I'm out of the car, baby. Wow! How I mean that adrenaline oh. popping that uh, oh, over that media and everything. Decision. You got to make that decision. Yeah, you yeah. got to do it. Yeah, because I could just say I was speeding. I'm going to get a DUI. Yeah, and uh, go to jail. There's no one. Else. Yeah, go to jail. And I just like I didn't see it. Yes. Wow. Or get the fuck out and escape. Yeah, I mean that is the move. That is the move. Yeah. One yeah. time my brother would used... be like, "Oh, I didn't even what." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's... Just yeah. yeah. Even if he spotted your car and saw you <laughs> shopping at Seven Eleven, he walked in there and was like, "I got you." You'd be like, "Got who? I I wasn't even there." Right. Well, that's what happened. Prove my, my, it. my middle brother stole my cam. my brother's Jeep and went on a police chase. Yeah. Mm. He went up to this parking garage where him and my other brother lived at the same time. Parks his car. The cop knows what the car looks like, so he's going around looking for the car. Feels the hood. It's hot. Writes a note. Oh man! Saying what? I knew. I know this is you. Call the station. We'll we'll get it all situated. <laughs> my brother's like, get the fuck. Also, he borrowed my brother's car. So my oh. brother's, my oldest brother was like, what is this? Yeah. I woke up to a, a note going, we know it was you that outran us last night. Essentially, call the station and uh, we'll lessen the charges. That's God. how he started his day, like a like a union he job. Didn't, he didn't call though. <laughs> no. All oh, right. No. Fuck it. Does that hold up prove in court? I touched no. the hood and it was hot. It was oh, yeah, warm. Good point. That's what he was trying to say. Fucking break. Well, there's a lot of dumb people out there. They're gonna fall for that shit. Yeah. yeah. The 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 little things always get you. I got really drunk in a high school party. My parents were out of town. I took their their shitbox Lexus to this party. <laughs> got drunk. You know, blacked out. Said I'll drive home. I don't remember any of this. Whatever. I wake up in the car. 7 a.m., sun is on me. I'm covered in piss. <laughs> <laughs> the keys are on the seat next to, like, in the Yo, shotgun. Good thing you're short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm in a leather seat with piss pooled, you know, because it didn't, it's leather, yeah. so it didn't sink in. No absorption. So now I'm like, uh, and I'm on Martin Luther King Boulevard, by the way. I'm in a horrible neighborhood, and I hear, knock, knock, knock. I look to my left, there's two cops right there. And I'm like, ah, oh, hey, you know, trying to get off, get out of it, play it off. And they're like, get out of the car, get out of the car. I get out of the car, I fall down. I'm soaking wet. They're like, give me your license. I give them my license. It's it's dripping because I've just been sitting pooled in urine. <laughs> and they're like, ah, oh, geez, all right. You obviously been drinking. Come back here. They're like patting me down and shit. I'm wet. I'm wet. And they're like, uh, okay, well, and I'm like, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. But the keys weren't in the ignition. So I didn't get in trouble, oh. and they go, we'll, we'll call somebody to pick you up. And I was like, all right. So I had to call my neighbor to pick me up. It was super embarrassing, but if I had those keys in the ignition, I would have gone to jail. Night Fuck, night. Yeah. dude. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I just, it was all, I mean, it's so funny. But I, this happened to me before. <laughs> I can't identify exactly when, but I've woken up and having completely pissed myself and also been like, that's the least of my problems. Yes, right yes. <laughs> I didn't care at all. <laughs> you're like, you're like I'll t- I'll, I gotta solve that later. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like, yeah. The, the rest of this environment yeah. is a dude, nightmare. It was it's slightly like walking embarrassing, home from the but that was it. <laughs> Sorry. But like dude, walking home from the beach, you're like, eh. 
uh, yeah, there's just plenty more to do here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta dry exactly. off later. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they got a call. They said a white kid is dead in the Lexus. You should come. That's why I got the cops in oh, there. Really? Oh, that's, yeah. What a perfect call. I then know. they show up and they're relieved. Right? Well, you hope. I think they hated me. <laughs> but yeah. No, but that's so somebody thing. saw you in the car, just like, and then called. <laughs> like, oh, he's dead. He, it was like in, a, in the projects. <laughs> I think he's Orleans. bleeding out. His <laughs> yeah. pants are so, <laughs> bleeding out his packer. <laughs> right. No, but that key thing. I had a buddy in college that used to be like, um, he used to actually do this. I don't know if he ever used it, but he was like, he was like, always keep a unopened bottle of vodka in your car. Oh, Wait, interesting. What? I thought you were gonna say something yeah. else. He was like, so that way, if you're drinking and driving and someone pulls you over, what you do is you roll down the window, you throw the keys out the window, roll the window up, lock the doors. And when the cop gets to the window, you open the bottle, you see him take the wrapper off and you chug it. And that way it's like, you're not drinking and driving, but you will fail a breathalyzer. The keys aren't in the car. This is retarded. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, this is too much. What? That was his plan. This is horrible. <laughs> you don't Are think you it would work? This? You think this is a good <laughs> do, Well, poke holes in it. Well, okay. okay. Here's a hole. Don't drink in front of the fucking cop and try and talk your way out of it. You're still dr- open containered. Yeah. No, but the car's not moving and the keys are outside. But you're not so allowed what, to drink you can't outdoors. Just drink in the car. Well, you're in. You can drink in a car that's parked, can you? I don't think so. I don't think so either. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I a mean, bar. I have. Why? That's my private space. That's uh, my property. That's I'm, I'm basically. I'm in a mobile public. home. If you're in your driveway, I guess you could fuck off and, and drink, like do whatever you want in your car. Yeah. If you're on public property, a road, like on the side of 95, you're just crushing, listening to Leonard Skinner, crushing a six pack. Right. I, I think just that's feel like legal. cops make me nervous. I got to do something to take the edge off. <laughs> You're crazy enough that I believe this. <laughs> and then you're relying on them seeing you crack the seal. Well, you got to wait for them to. That's insane. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. To look but, at a cop, but open a bottle. He was gonna be like, he'll call for backup immediately. <laughs> yeah, this guy's gonna kill me. Right. He threw keys at me too. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you take it. I'm finishing this bottle. I thought you were gonna say keep a bottle of, or a jar of peanut butter in the glove box, which is helpful because peanut butter is the only thing that truly masks. The smell of booze on your breath. Really? You can do a mint, all that mouthwash, nothing work, but peanut butter will soak it all up. So yeah, you, what about a Reese's peanut butter like, uh, You used nah, to bury cocaine it's in... It's not as thick and hardy. You need the yeah. thick paste. He used to bury cocaine in ecstasy in a, in a, a jiffy. Oh, really? On, on flights. Oh, wow. Really? Just cap it right in the middle. The dog can't smell it. And this is also like, I don't know, early 90s? Right. Yeah. Mid-90s, right. so it's like... Dude, I don't... I, I, One or two pills, you think a, a dog's going to smell? Like, this is his fucking mentality. Sure. Like you, can't, you can't just go to Arizona and hang out. Right. It's true. Yeah, it's true. It's true. you got to like, risk yeah. your whole future. Yeah, it's they true. have it there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the bartender. It's I've hard been, to find. I've been flying with mushrooms uh, for, like, months now, and I didn't same. realize it. Yeah, same. same. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 It was I, in my backpack. I saw them in my Skank backpack. Fest. Yeah, ah! yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, dude. We had, my, I had mushrooms in my bag for at least... Also... 12 or 13 flights. Yes, yeah, same. I had no idea. And then it makes you wonder, if I had known, would I have been nervous and sweating? But it's better that I didn't know? Is that how I got away with it? Do you start doing all that shit? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, you know what? Honestly, I don't think they... They have no idea what they're doing. Scanning nah, shit. Nah, nah. McCusker gave me a, really, fucking... a really good move. Uh, there's something called Lion's Mane, which is a natural mushroom uh, pill mm. that you take. So he'll take his... His uh, psychedelic mushrooms, uh, grind them up, cap them themselves, put it in the natural. That's a good for, move. for travel. Well played. So it's just like this is this is what I use for my hair. Right, so right. This me my hair. How does he know when he opens it later, which one is which? Oh no no he dumps all the fucking the dog shit out. Yeah, it's all Puts just all the, mushrooms. All oh mushrooms. oh, oh I see. It's in I see. pill form. Got in, it. In a yeah. lion's mane. Very thing. smart. Yeah. yeah, he gave me a hundred at uh, in Florida, doing that, and I yeah. took him home. No problem. God, but they don't. I, I, now it's like it's so reduced. I don't think they care. I know. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a. Also, you know, are, are you a weed guy? You smoke weed? Nah. Yeah, me neither. I think I think a little bit of mushrooms now is way better than weed. Oh, getting caught with it? No, mean? no, oh, no. I mean, just or doing it. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm with so you. locked in and getting caught. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah no, like, you take like half a gram or a gram of mushrooms. The high is way better. Agreed. And more 100%. chill than smoking weed. Smoking yeah. weed is a is. A, I haven't had one that wasn't a panic attack. Same. Yeah. In fucking. 15 I accidentally years. took fifty fucking milligrams last weekend. What? 
Oh my uh, edible God. or edible? Oh, well, what? here's what happened. Nightmare. I took te- I, it's it's fifty square. I'm used to like ten, here and there. I dabble like once every couple months. Yeah, ten. I need to get it. good at ten. Is pushing it. Five to ten, I'm good. That'll still send you. I take a nibble, <sighs> nothing. Hour and a half, two hours. It's the same hack story going. It fucking walloped me, but I yeah. was like, I just got confident because all the mushroom intake I had. Yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna. And then I was up for two to five. Oh my god! Just uh, staring at the walls, dancing, uh, not dancing like in a mushroom way. Like I was just spinning, spinning. Yeah, dude, just a brutal fucking it, high. It never ends. You're no, like, I'll doesn't. be like this for the rest of my life. Yeah. You just accept it. Oh, dude, I yeah, I, I took an edible on on a flight back from Denver once because I was like, oh, I'll take an edible and I'll relax. And <laughs> it, the flight wound up getting delayed, uh, and then we were leaving at like 1 a.m. Uh, and I finally sit down and I sit and the kid, there's a kid next to me. Some fucking college asshole who like wants to be the like the the class clown of the plane. Oh no! You know, so he's like making comments out loud and like trying to like like elbow me and be like blah, blah, blah. he's like shitting on the like the stewardesses. And yeah, stuff. and I'm just like, dude, I don't want anything to fucking do with you. But I'm so high, I don't have, I don't know how to navigate. Yes, like I just hate you. <laughs> and I can't. Uh, there's no way I can round the edges off it right now. Right, man. Like I fucking hate you, Chris. If I yeah. didn't know you, you'd be the last dude I'd nudge. On. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, you seem nice and yeah. you know, no, he is. Yeah. But he's also when he's not smiling, he has this fucking. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, he's, got this, he's got this like angry carpenter. <laughs> yeah. look. Who's this guy think he is? A friend yeah. of Patrick Mahomes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like his backhoe just broke down. And he doesn't know what the fuck to do. He's got to call his wife. He's all <laughs> right, perplexed. Right. Like, well, she's going to start some shit, too. <laughs> that is. That's what's going on in my mind the whole time. But that's the weird thing about drugs. Is like you never see that guy on a flight when you're sober. Boom. Give me a, a psychedelic or an edible. And uh, um, now I'm next to fucking uh, Rickles over here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I took... Uh, Rogan before the world ended with COVID. Rogan used to have these shows at the comedy store, Sam Tripoli shows, and it was like Diaz and Rogan and all these psychos. Bert was on it, Theo, and they would give you all this free weed. Yeah, I and, was there for one of those. Yeah, in the back, the back green room. It's a just a bowl full of it. There's a guy rolling shit. Yeah. There's a lady, like a hot lady, you know, doing joints and everything. The whole thing was insane. So they go, here you go, and I go, look, I'm a, I'm a lightweight. I can't do weed. Just keep it. And they go, well, there's a lot of CBD in there. I go, oh, all right, all right, I'll do some CBD. And they go, yeah, just make sure you read it. I was like, yeah, sure. The whole reason I'm in L.A., I'm pitching a show. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never, I've pitched 8 million shows. They never go anywhere. This one got bought by a production company, Lionsgate. They, fly, they flew me out first class. They put me in a hotel. This is the furthest I've ever gone in any pitch scenario. So this is a big deal, and I'm like, I might actually sell this show. I might be a millionaire, whatever, you know. <laughs> I'm freaking out, but I'm like, yeah, hey, I'll do a set. Can I get a set, you know, the night before? And then the next day I'm pitching to, like, five networks. It's all mapped out. We got a black town car. Me and my manager, we're going to go to Netflix, then Hulu. And all the, it was all mapped out. So I'm like, I better get a good night's sleep. <laughs> you know, <laughs> big day tomorrow. So I open them up, and I'm like, all right, this is CBD. This is THC, whatever. And I was like, let me take a bunch so I get some good sleep. <laughs> oh. It's CBD. I got my, my anxiety's going. And of course, you I took, took the, the wrong one and I took a ton. It must have been like 50, 60, who knows what. But either way, I'm laying there and I did fall asleep. But then I woke up and the bed was sideways. Like the bed was on the wall. And I was like sliding <laughs> off. It. I was like, ah, what have I done? And I called my, my girl and she's like, what is wrong with you? You're freaking out. And I remember looking in the mirror and your face oh, is wiggling. No. And the night just flew by, and I was—I remember I was hugging because the floor kept slanting. It felt like so I was hugging the leg of a couch in the hotel room, <laughs> hugging it so long that the sun came up. Never slept. My manager is like banging on the hotel door, like, "What are you doing? We gotta go. We gotta go to Netflix." And I'm like, "I can't go." He comes in. He's like, "We gotta go." I'm like, "I can't go anywhere." He's like, "Suck it up. Be a man." He's putting water on me, and I just—I turned it all down. And I what? It. I missed it. Yeah, no. I couldn't. I was that fucked up. I couldn't. Oh think. my god! I was on another planet. If I had gone in that Netflix boardroom, they would have called the like the crazy police. Like I was, <laughs> I was a psycho. I was gone. If you told this story, oh my. God. God. As to why you missed that meeting the next day, yeah, I think you would have sold this on the spot. Maybe like, this is this is what we're looking for in terms of content. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking maniac that's gonna sleep on a wall. Dude. Yeah, uh, he he uh, quit the business not long after that. 
Oh my god! He was like, "This is our shot. We have. We're doing it. They flew you out here. You're up in this nice hotel. And I just couldn't do it. I was that fucked up. Yeah, dude. Every and, time he gets high, he probably curses you out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I'll rally if I'm super hungover. I'm drunk. I'll go anywhere. I'll do anything. Yeah. But I was just too high to do. I couldn't. I couldn't leave the hotel room. It well, was too much. Rallying hungover is almost better. I feel like it's. I'd rather be low and have to get up. Then be too up and have to get down. Yeah. Well said. That, that was fucking... like a rap lyric. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. No, like, because I, I, to, to stay down, da- like to keep the energy down, yes, is impossible. It's impossible. To contain. Yeah. And it's a high octane moment. It's <laughs> right, like right, Netflix right. boardroom pit. We had a we had a PowerPoint. We had uh, like visual aids and all this shit. And I was like, <laughs> Can you I can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> oh, no, I God. get it. I get it. I yeah. Totally yeah. Agree. The moment you said visual aids, I thought you were going to say I'm not. You didn't have a, a good sleep, and you know it just went no. so long that you canceled. No, you were still ripped off my ass. I was on another <laughs> planet. Did you have uh, agent or manager at that point? I imagine, yeah. Yeah, the manager was like shaking me, like we need to do this, like because I you look normal. You're just like sitting there, you know. <laughs> but you know, he doesn't know what's going on in here, and I just couldn't do it. And we scheduled again for like a Is month this, later, on, and then it this, just fizzled out. Never happened. Was this when you were in- innovative? No, I was after that. I was with the uh, WME, and they mm. that my lady got fired eventually. It's a, it's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, that Jeez. fucking rules. Dude. I feel like the only <laughs> accidental dosing story I have is I I like I was in Vermont doing a show or Maine. I was doing a show, and I was just sitting around a table with comics, waiting to go on. And someone was like, "I got some extra candy. Do you guys want candy?" Uh, candy. And I was like, "Yeah, I'll take a piece." And I ate it. <laughs> Candy. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you I was, eat? I thought it was exactly. like. <laughs> I mean, I'm the candy. I don't know. Guy, I was dude. like, it's Portland, Maine. These people are fucking weird. Maybe they go to a candy store and get candy and then bring sure. it places. So, dude, I, I, fuck, yeah, I, I, I you go it. to Portland. You got to ask if there's weed in the burgers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's your fucking fault. Yeah, yeah. Is there weed in these towels? Yeah. You know, it's everywhere in Portland. If I try my head, am I gonna get high yeah. for a half hour? <laughs> so I, I take this thing, you know. 30 or 40 minutes later, I get on stage and, uh, while I'm on stage, it starts hitting me, Mm -hmm. but I don't (laughs) think that it's weed. I haven't connected it at all. I started being like, wow, man, I'm doing like really well. Uh, And I'm feeling so good. And I'm really with the, like, I'm really like transcending something. Yes. And this was, this was like a couple of years ago. I was like, I feel like I'm really kind of getting into a new place. This is going so well. And I got off stage and I felt so good. And then uh, I was watching the dude after me, and I was laughing so fucking uh, hard, and that's what tipped me off. Because I was like, I I don't laugh yeah like this really you know, at people like this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? like, trans Asian. Yeah, no, no. It's just like it's like this kind of comic. It's like these jokes aren't that good, and right. yet they're detonating in yeah, me like in a way course. that's. Ne- and then I was like. What the fuck? This is crazy. And then I put it together. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I took an edible. That doesn't sound so bad. I mean, you no, did your set. It went okay. Yeah, yeah. You enjoyed the second guy. No, it wasn't bad at all. <laughs> and there's just something that I feel sad. I have a, there's it's something that feels sad about the fact that I was enjoying myself. I was enjoying a dude's comedy so much that I was like, something's wrong. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. That's yeah, a good yeah, point. Fuck yeah. this. If you're a working comic and you enjoy any comedian <laughs> yeah, set, uh, to a certain something's level. Something's off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our goal here is to be miserable, gentlemen. <laughs> now, did you actually do well or did you just think you did well? Uh, I don't know. I think I did actually do pretty good. Like, that'd be fun if you listened it to it later and, and yeah, you just yeah. did a full Michael Richards up there <laughs> and you're like, man, I'm killing. <laughs> well, now Portland! <laughs> Portland! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it. Was, I think it did go all right. If I listen back to it now, I would still hate it because there's material that I'm just like, Ugh. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. But so I don't know if I could get a clean read on it, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah. I did all right. Makes you wonder how many people in our crowds are high. It's got to be a good amount. I mean, weed oh, is so yeah. popular now and it's so normalized. I feel yeah. like we got a lot of high people out there. Tons. It's kind of crazy how much it's. It is crazy to think how much it's changed. Oh yeah, like in high school. Dude, the, oh to dip God. in to every the amount drug. of conflict it caused in my family. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What weed? Yeah, because I didn't even smoke like that much. But anytime I got caught with it, it was like, "What are you doing? Oh, this it's could a be laced yeah. with something be sucking dick at a rest yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah it's like, gateway drug. Yeah. It, it's weed and cigarettes kind of traded places. Like oh, weed yeah. <laughs> was just yeah. like 
you're going to jail, man. This is illegal. What do you know, a dealer? And now, and cigarettes were like, my grandma smoked, yeah. you know? And now I feel like your grandma gets high to yeah. like <laughs> fuck with her arthritis. Yeah, for And then glaucoma. cigarettes are like, dude, what are you, like an ex-con? You get your act together. Yeah. It's flipped. Dude, my pop started. And even, the, yeah, the people are like, I, I, I think your lungs do get fucked by smoking weed, right? I don't know. People vape king? They don't. I, don't I think know. they do. Yeah, but they got they these vapes now. They got edibles. They yeah, got gummies. Yeah. There's so many alternatives. My dad started gr growing his own weed like ten years ago. There you go. What? Yeah. So. <laughs> what? Yeah. The first time I caught him, I was in like seventh or eighth grade. We used to, me and my my best friend Cooch used to take a scooter, a General, this bright green. Never yeah. forget it. Great scooter. Yeah. And we would both hop on at the same time and, and ride to this golf course where we would drink with the high school kids. Mm. And you would just take a cup and take like the bottoms of you'd be like, can I have a little bit? Can I have a little bit? And then yeah. you fill up your cup, get all fucked up, drive home. Uh -huh. I forgot my keys or something, came back within 10 minutes, my pop smoking a joint in the back deck. And I was like, <laughs> like smelling it like, that's a very unique scent. So that's when I knew he's, he's been smoking weed his whole fucking life. Yeah. Right. I go to college, they move to Westchester from uh, Delaware County. And they have an, ac an acre. And my mom can't get around anymore. She's like hobbling like a little fucking, like a little garden gnome. Mm. <laughs> so she doesn't venture out to the grass. So my dad's a- Is it, is it a one leg thing or is it just- No, no, she's stiff, active. She walks stiff... around uh, Longwood Gardens. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, she's, she's active, but she won't, it's the, the undulation of the grass is a little too much. Also, uh... there's no reason for her to go out there. Yeah, okay. my dad goes out there for the garden. Yeah, so he puts a fucking he puts a uh, a plant underneath the tree line because mm. this is Kennett Square, which is the mushroom capital of the world. Oh, the really? World. So it's all farms to farm mushrooms, but they also have a lot of marijuana plants. So they yeah. have helicopters that check all this shit. Really? Yeah. Jesus. So I went up to help my dad one time. I didn't see the plant yet. How did they, yeah. I didn't see the plant yet. Go, yeah, they got to spot a weed plant from a helicopter. It's also just like, what, what, what you wasting budget? Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, this is also like, a garden this is like 15 fine weed. years ago. That's what killed Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pilot was just looking for weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These damn dirty you know, the kids. The cabin yeah. was so full of smoke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh. Good to see. Um. So I, I go I go to my, my I was in college. I go to help my dad cut the lawn. And I was like, where's the weed whacker? And I call, oh. him, I call him at work. Yeah. And I was like, I can't find the, the cord for the weed whacker. And he's like, what are you bothering me with this shit? Look in the garage. It's in the garage. And I call him a second time. He's like, Jesus Christ. All right. Do you want me to walk you through this? You fucking idiot. <laughs> so then he walks through the back <laughs> of the garage. Dude, on it, also, the most terrifying thing is when dad says oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Just like. Forget about it. Because it's like, if if we go in there yeah, and, and it's I find exactly it. where I said it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is you are to be had. fucked. You're fucked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No more Pop-Tarts for life. <laughs> <laughs> so I go in the back. It's behind this. I find the wire and I find this big, like, uh, Acme bag. Yeah. Mm. I look in the bag. There is a fucking, I mean, when I, t when I say, I don't even know what the weightage would be. <laughs> I don't even know. It's, it's, weightage. I don't know. <laughs> That's how much I don't know. I made up a fucking word. It was probably, a what do you call it? Brick. It's a yeah. brick. Oh, it's a yeah. brick. But it wasn't, but it was loose. It was a giant fucking bag of pillowcase of, of butts. Yeah. Wow. And I called him back and he goes, what? And I was like, dad. I found the extension cord. And he's like, yeah, yeah, so fucking cut the lawn. What do you want from me? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. And I was like, no, no, dad, 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 dad. I found the extension cord. Yeah. Ooh. And he goes, um, well, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Don't tell your mother. And I was like, are you fucking selling? This is a, an enormous amount of weed. Yeah. He goes, no, no. Uh, you I, selling extension cords? <laughs> <laughs> he still doesn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he's like, no, I had a plant. It got out of control. And it, it, it just it just happened. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. Now you're the dad. Said. You've become the father. Yes. He's like, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, got yeah. out of control. <laughs> what are you talking Don't tell mom. Yeah. Making up a lie that makes no sense. Yeah. What do you mean it got out of control? Right, right. When Is you fed it and gardened it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Two years later, he took the plant that was under the tree line and he grew one directly in the center of the tomato plants, which had like a little, 
you know that like little wiring and fencing yeah. to yeah. keep out deer and rabbits and all that it shit. It also grows up the, doesn't it? This thing was directly in center. It had a, uh, a, a, a what do you call it? A stabilizer. Uh -huh. A giant yeah. pole. This fucking thing was like two feet above everything else. Just cascading. Yeah. Mm. It, it is a beautiful a plant. <laughs> it is <laughs> nice. Effectively. Yeah. Like I look, I like looking at weed photos even though I don't smoke weed. Sure. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm with you. Yeah, no, you see a weed plant, like a big one, you go, What do you wow. mean you like looking at weed photos? Yeah, I like looking at... Like I, you'll peruse the, the marijuana leaf? Well, I like foliage in general, but I think that's got a nice leaf. Yeah. Like don't a peroni think? is a nice flower. <laughs> I don't know what a peroni well, is. Well, look it up, pal. Isn't that It'll a when change your dick your, bends? No. Yeah, it's peroni's disease, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow. Peroni's. Yeah. Per peroni? Pironi. 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 I'll look it up. Yeah. I'll look it up. It's a nice flower. It's got to yeah. be some guy named Pironi or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Ben it's Dick. Unfortunate. Ben yeah. Dick Hero. Yeah. Right. It's the Lou Gehrig disease of Ben yeah, Dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, you come out on top. <laughs> so oh, what, did he, did he harvest it? Did he? Yeah. Well, Whoa. now he just got ballsy because my mother just stopped even looking out oh. in the backyard. He's the only guy who got excited when it's, they're like, the doctor's like, yeah, hey, your wife's going to be a little, little hobbled up. He's like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can grow. She gets around, but it's like you know, she puts like three to five miles walking around oh, the right. gardens. Yeah, you build a little creek and have a yeah. couple stones. You got to hop across. Yeah, yeah. She can't get there. She can't yeah. get there. Perfect. You got to build a moot. You got to build a moot. A moat. A moat. 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 The points moot. <laughs> I don't know, Whoa. guys. What are we doing? Uh, well, you got to build know. a moot around your weightage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. But I, I wish. To, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. I would just wish I liked weed. Everybody smokes weed. My friends wake up, they smoke, they take eight edibles, they, they look like they're having a yeah. blast. And every time I hit a joint, I go, that was a mistake. Yeah. Same. I also just can't imagine smoking every day. It's like, it's hard enough to hold on to your identity as it is. Right, right. <laughs> losing my mind every day. Yeah. yeah. You know? Then it's you like, can pick up a new identity, though. That's no, cool. no, no. Because it's, yeah. You start, how do you even know who you really are if you're smoking weed every day? They argue that when they're high, that's the real them. That, like, they say it, it's like <clears throat> it strips all the anxiety away. Where for me, it just adds anxiety. Yeah, I don't know. My whole existence is a falsehood. <laughs> it has to be because you're you're yeah. a member of society. Yeah, you can't just go outside naked and go blow me, shut up. Uh, <laughs> I'm hungry. Food, 100%. food. You have to be decent and yeah. Yeah. considerate. If I were to talk to a doctor and I'd be like, "Look, I'm I'm having trouble sleeping," and they were like, "All right, well, what's your day consist of?" <laughs> I'd be like, "Well, uh, unrelenting fucking anxiety to start the day," and they'd be like. <laughs> Well, why? Did you say it like that? I don't know. I'm Through your eyebrows? <laughs> I speak with my fucking eyebrows, Chris. <laughs> should try and grow some first. <laughs> they're under the ridge. Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they're like there. I know they're there. Yeah, you got to do that a lot. <laughs> 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 well, now I see them. All right, there they are. If you were to ask why, I told the doctor, he's like, all right, so you're, you're drinking, you're over-consuming alcohol at night. Yeah. Just fuck your sleep up. So you don't get a good rest. You're already, you, it's a bad start. Yeah. And then you put, what, four cups of coffee in your system? Yeah. Guilty. <laughs> yeah. Caffeine. Yeah. And the stress of just trying to get shit done and make it. Yeah. Yeah. Pay the and bills, live in New York. the cycle continues. So this is why weed and mushrooms are my, that's my goal. Oh, you, you do this? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know I want to be better at weed. I say this all the time, Mark. So exactly how you feel. I want to be better at weed. And I think edibles for me is the way to go. I just have to trust. I also eat like a pound of gummy bears a night. So when Ooh. I pop a little bit of uh, edible, I get it excited. With the candy, dude. Yeah, that's a lot of candy, man. He's, oh, got, a, he's crazy. got a huge crazy. candy problem. Really? Yeah. I guess of all the vices, it's not heroin. But I was just going to say. Yeah, of, of all the, like, <laughs> the drugs and booze, this guy's got a candy problem. No, but, but he brings home futuristic candy. Futuristic? Yeah, it's weird candy you didn't even know existed. Oh, you, you fucking, what are you, sitting on lemon heads? No, dude. <laughs> What? Yeah, I got I got modern candy, and I'm trying to share it with the family. I'd like to Dude. see some of this. Is it Chinese shit? Is that what no, we're no? I don't oh, fuck with Asian. I don't fuck with that shit. Asian candy is too. It's too crazy. <clears throat> it's crazy. The it packaging. looks great. The packaging is gorgeous. Yes, Dude. that's how they get you. Exactly. Yeah. You put it in your mouth. It's dog shit. Yeah, candy's gone through it's the like same type of evolution. They're like dog treats. Weed has. <laughs> yeah. 
Dude, it's crazy. It, yeah, candies are skyrocketed. It, and, and They're combining candies. He brought home gusher nerds. Whoa. It was like a gusher with nerds. Why are you saying it in that tone? Because <laughs> it's Outside cr- of saying, it's thank you so much for... No. If you brought me a gusher nerd, I'd be like, Chris... You tried to get me to eat one. And tried I was like, to. Yeah, I'd like I, did, I did have one. It was, you need to get your shit fucking right. amazing, but it's like, I don't want another <laughs> one, dude. I can't, like... That's no, the, so the right nerd. in my G spot, dude. Candy right, wise. right. When I a big can't. brain comes out with it, because you know these fucking these these hopped up gummy scientists. Oh yeah, <laughs> that hang out in, the, in lab coats and small rooms, going, "What if yeah. nerds on the exterior of an egg, but the inside is a sour gummy?" Ooh. And you're like, "Yo, yeah, I know. Yo, you can't do this. That guy's to a people, fucking though. genius. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doctor Juan, getting a fucking getting a promotion." Well, yeah. this is just the version now. Like back in the day, somebody was like, "Hold on, peanut butter and chocolate," and yeah, everybody's like, yes. "Easy, yeah, weirdo." Take- <laughs> yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah. What is this? The future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that's completely normal. So yeah. this is how it starts. It's the same guy that said, "Like, well, marijuana plants are beautiful." Sometimes I just look up their photos. <laughs> 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 Fair, Fair enough. Fair enough. I gotta you got to piss. All right. All, All right. right. Do we do we pause? Yeah, let's pause. Okay. I'm gonna get a glass of water. Hey.